On Monday, the Texas Department of State Health Services issuing an alert confirming our state's first human case of avian influenza or bird flu. It is a much more severe illness, a much more deadly flu. The person tested positive late last week in the Texas Panhandle, where the first cases in cattle were reported days before. This individual was given Tamiflu uh, and seems to be improving. Nationwide, this marks the second human case of bird flu and the first connected to cows. The virus usually infects wild birds but can spread to domestic birds and other animals and occasionally humans. And it is extremely rare uh, for this virus to be transmitted from one person to another. And the genetic testing that's happened so far doesn't show any changes in the virus. Symptoms include fever or chills, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and just generally not feeling well. With this, this individual who tested positive, uh, the only symptom was conjunctivitis, so, you know, redness, kind of uh, inflammation of the eye. If you get flu-like symptoms and have been around animals, uh, you know, that, that have been sick or are at risk of having bird flu, uh, we do want you to be tested. That's left untreated, um, it can be fatal. Um, with treatment, it can, we can have success with curing. At this point, experts are looking into exactly how the cows got infected in the first place. It really is, you know, both uh, human health and animal health agencies and experts working together to try to understand exactly what's happening here. The good news. At this point, the, re the risk to our community is low. And if you're concerned about the milk you drink, DSHS says there's no need to worry. A, um, you know, the, the regulations, the laws and rules that apply to dairies require them, and they do, you know, segregate, uh, you know, any milk that comes from a sick cow. And then B, if there, if there were, uh, you know, uh, somehow affected milk that, that were in that chain, we have a very high confidence in, in the effectiveness of pasteurization.